So what is Clarity? Well, from a, from a user's perspective, it's a browser module. You download the browser module, and from then on, every time you go to one of the social media sites, you see the ranking that we create for credibility for everybody in your stream. Behind the scenes, it's a little bigger than that. It's this artificial intelligence engine where we read and rank all half a billion users' social media content. But the user doesn't see any of that stuff. That all happens behind the scenes. Well, you mentioned uh, useful information. Yeah. And uh, I wasn't completely clear what you meant by that. Can you explain more about sure. how you imagine, derive that? Imagine you're a policeman and uh, there's been a shooting. You don't know anything about it. You show up. And it's clear everything's settled down and there's a dead body in the street. So you go to the crowd and you say, okay, what happened? Well, you go to the first person and they say, well, I was eating my dinner and I heard a loud noise, so I hid under the table and then I grabbed my purse and I ran behind the counter and I was really scared and that's all I know. Then you go to the next person and says, oh, it's those kids from the north side, they're off. Then you go to the third person and he says, well, you know, the bus pulled up and this guy in a red shirt got off the bus and he shot himself. Well, one of those people has given you a lot more useful information than the other, but they all are telling you what they think is the most important part of the story. And the truth is, these, it's hyperbolic, right? Everybody talks about a mix of those things. Some of the things that are important to us personally, some of the things that we think are true about the world that the evidence maybe doesn't support, and or at least the evidence on hand doesn't support, and some of the things that are actual factual content. The factual content's a lot more useful to a third party, so that gets a higher weight in our system than things like conjecture or speculation or, you know, individual subjective information, subjective opinions, those sort of things. So you, you grade higher for facts than opinions and higher for... That's, that's uh, the short answer, yeah, but there's a lot more to it than that because there's a big difference between something that is a fact and something that is completely useless. So, uh, for instance, you know, right now the sky is blue, right? So if I say the sky is blue, that's, is that a fact? Well, as a matter of fact, it is. But the sky was gray earlier. If I had said the sky is blue then, is it a fact? Well, maybe it is. It still has the same chance of being a fact. It's a reasonable piece of speculation anyway. So those two things have equal weight. And there's a whole long list of things that come after fact that don't come anywhere near lie. You know what I mean? It's not between truth and lies. It's between, it's the degree of factual content that we care about. Uh, you know, much of, uh, you have a tagline of fighting fake news, yeah. and uh, there's a lot of discussion about that, but how, how do you define it, at least as far as your artificial intelligence? That's, uh, that's complicated. See, the problem is everybody knows fake news is a problem, and nobody knows what it is. People on the far left say it's anything to the right of them. People on the far right say it's anything to the left of them. A lot of that information is actually factual, but everybody has an issue with it. So uh, what we do is we strip away all of that cognitive bias. Our AI doesn't take a side, it doesn't have its own opinions, it doesn't have any view of its own. All it has is a perspective of that individual's statements relative to everybody else. 